are the worst people of all time, of all human history? That is my question to you. Now, you may think the people getting around Europe uh, between 1939 and 1945, they were pretty bad people, but you're dead wrong. You see, yeah, they were bad people, but they pale in comparison, ladies and gentlemen, to vegans. Yep. That's right. And vegans are back, ladies and gentlemen, more powerful than ever, all over TikTok, and that's what this video is all about. To make ourselves feel better about our lives by looking at these people and thinking to ourselves, thank the Lord that's not me. All right. Shall we? Before ever in this world, a child of one religion is taught to hate or dislike someone of another religion. Before ever, a person of one skin color is taught to think low of someone else of a different skin color. Okay, so before anyone's taught racism or sexism or hatred or anything like that, before they're taught that, as kids, before they're taught any of that. Before ever, a man is taught to raise his hand against a woman. The first form of violence and the first form of discrimination all of us were taught as children was... I can't wait to hear this. Speciesism. Shut your fucking stupid mouth. <laughs> we were taught to be kind and loving to some animals while unknowingly taking part in the violence. Oh my god, that woman's just soaring a live fish in half. That's a bit rude. <laughs> exploitation and murder of other animals. Think about it. When was the first time any of us in this classroom came into contact with animals such as chickens or pigs or fish? It's these animals are already cut up, murdered and cooked on our dinner table. It's because it's what we eat, you fucking goose. What is wrong with you people? I don't, get, I don't understand how you can be so dense. You show so much cognitive dissonance. You know all of the facts. You know that human beings thrive on meat and have done for generations, thousands of generations. It's why we are at the point we are at. It's why our brains grew. And yet you just go, no. Speciesism. Fuck you to the moon. All right? No one cares. If cows were us, if cows grew big fucking sharp teeth and started jacking up humans everywhere, do you think they'd give a shit? No. How do you guys feel when you watch these oh. videos? Like Isaac Butterfield, like I do like Isaac Butterfield, but like when you watch his content on you guys. I mean, I think it's great that he's talking about me, which leads, like starts the conversation about animal rights and veganism. Okay, so this TikTok is asking Tash Peterson, vegan booty, if you don't know who that is, it's this lady. Look at these Look at them. Look at them. Stop eating their fucking bodies. The question, what does she think about me? And my videos that I've made on her in the past, and I've made a lot. And the reason I've made a lot, not because I'm overly obsessed, but she's in the news a lot. And it would be remiss of me not to do that. And we've actually had a sit-down podcast. Yeah, I saw that. We did have a sit-down podcast, and it was quite good. Um, the thing is, and what I wanted to do with that, like I know a lot of people wanted me to really go after her in that podcast and attack her, which I'm not going to do in my studio at you know, some 20 something year old girl, I'm not going to start yelling at her, that's ridiculous. Um, that's just not me. But you know, the conversation we had was important because we took away from the character that Vegan Booty was and looked at her honest opinions about a lot of different things. And we understood after that conversation that she's just fucking batshit crazy and I'm not. <laughs> but she, I, I, I will give her credit where credit's due. She genuinely gives a shit about animals and I think that's really, really good. I think that's really important because there are a lot of animals that need help, just not the delicious ones. You know, he's he puts on a character. Do not, I talk like this all the time, even when I'm at the shops. When he does those videos, like he was kind of just the average kind of guy. I'm not average, how fucking dare you? Invited us into his house and he was really kind, it's just yeah. that. I am really kind, you're right vegan booty, thank you. We have that Come slight on. disagreement in our views but at the end of the day like he has, he said he's against factory farming of animals yeah. but he openly supports factory farming, that most animals are factory farmed. Yeah I am against factory farming, in a perfect world we would all hunt our food and that animal itself would live an entire life without being around humans ever. But that's not reality. We all have to work jobs, we all have to put our kids through school, all that type of stuff. And that's just not going to happen, is it? We don't have time to go out into the wilderness and hunt, unfortunately. Factory farming is not good. Shoving tens of chickens into one tiny little cage is not good, it's horrible. There's other ways around it, okay? And there's better ways to farm. And I think we should do that more rather than just go, hey, let's never eat meat again, even though we're designed to eat meat and we thoroughly thrive off meat. And he says he's against animal cruelty and abuse. So really, our views aren't that different. It's just yeah. about him. He needs to align his 
so actions do you, with these values. Do you, I don't need to do shit, but we, we, our views aren't that different. Uh, I just think that some animals are prey. And being a carnivore, as a human, uh, that is a pretty natural thought to have. That's our only difference. Do you think Isaac Butterfield should go vegan? Absolutely. I think he's been a closet vegan. Fuck off, Tash. I would potentially in the future turn vegan one day, maybe. But right now I'm enjoying meat too much. So if I showed you some footage of a cow being decapitated... But I would never watch that footage. And I wouldn't, uh, you know, I, I wouldn't even accept to view the footage. Listen, if you're going to eat something, you should know where it comes from. I think that's really important. We are so disconnected from what we actually consume when we go to the supermarket. We go and we find a bit of meat that's in a bit of pa packaging and we just eat it. We don't think about it. But that was a living thing. And I think it's important to know those things when you consume something. I go back to hunting all the time when I talk about things like this. Every hunter that I know, when they harvest an animal from the wilderness, they actually give a shit about that animal. They take it, they thank it for the meat and for the nutrients and for the energy and for continuing that system of something lives, it dies and it feeds everything else. Um, they really have that connection and we just don't have that. That's just a disconnect. That's a disconnect that we've created over a long period of time through factory farming, through uh, supermarkets and you know through modern society being the way that it is where we all have to go to work at nine o'clock in the morning, we don't get home to five, we don't see our kids and we don't have time to create our own food. That's just an unfortunate part of modern society that we probably should take a look at. But in saying all of that. If you don't want to view a cow getting decapitated, you shouldn't have to, all right? But you should know where your food comes from. Don't you want to know what you're contributing to to these animals? This is Joey Carbstrong, by the way, and he's an absolute cocksucker. Um, all you have to do is look at the videos that I've made on him in the past. He's an ex-criminal, just not a very nice dude, and a very condescending dude. Like, he became so obsessed with veganism that it replaced all of the bad things in his life, and he just put all of his eggs, or vegan eggs, into that basket and made it his personality. He's a very dull and boring human being. Suck a dick, Joey. Like, right, because you're literally eating a piece of their body. Like, don't you want to know what happened to that animal in order for you to eat them? Joey doesn't give a shit about all the animals that die when a fucking harvester goes through a field. He doesn't give a shit about all of the bacteria that's killed when you use hand sanitizer. He only cares about a certain amount of animals, okay, that are a certain size and a certain cuteness. He doesn't give a shit about cockroaches. He doesn't care about ants. He only cares about a few more animals than I do. That's our difference. As long as it tastes good, like I don't really so like the blind is on, as long as it tastes good. This whole entire world is blind. Think about COVID, mate. A test for everyone's compliance. 99% of people passed that and complied. The 1% that didn't comply were the people that actually had a bit of sense in their mind. I'm going to choose what I'm going to be blind in. Am I vaccinated? I'm not vaccinated at all. This guy's gone into a conversation that we can't have on YouTube. We'll get in trouble. Don't have one jab, two jabs or three jabs. And so, get okay, the with the animal Follow situation, the I am going to be blind to that though. Like I could open my so mind. If I opened my second, mind, I'd be vegan. vegan. I'd if be vegan. If you're not vaccinated, you might have come across some kind of media that p persuaded you of some kind of fact. Yeah. Therefore, you 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 enlightened yourself. Whether we disagree or agree on vaccination. Sure, 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 sure. sure. Anyway, I don't want to talk about that anymore because this video will get taken down. On to the next video. Would you like me to put my uh, sign? Uh, what? You hang on. Sure. Bro cemented his feet because Save of the price planet. of soy. Save the cows and the vegan up now. Wow, you guys are just so inspiring. Awe inspiring. I tell you what, I just want to give up meat forever after listening to you soy driven, sad excuses for human beings. Absolutely, I'm off it. I never want to eat meat again. I just want to be a part of your society of decrepit young people. Save the planet, save the cow, and the vegan up charge now. Soy milk. Soy milk sucks. <laughs> what a fucking national hero. Here's a meat festival. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Peter shared this protest video. That baby is medium rare. And that's fucked up. <laughs> Vegan protesters attack me for loving bacon. This is Mr. Sickhand. If you don't follow him on uh, TikTok, you should. Uh, he's a comedian from Perth. You should go check him out. He's also got a great t-shirt that says, fuck chickens, eat them. Fuck them, then eat them. That's how I do it. Anyway, back to his video. Stop gassing pigs for pork. Bringing attention to the gas chambers that are in used in slaughterhouses all around Australia. It's um, shocking what goes on behind closed doors and we're doing a joint action all over why, the world. Why does it? Okay, let me ask this question. 
if you can find a way to kill an animal that's not painful, isn't that better? I, I don't know if gas chambers, and listen, don't make the connection between other gas chambers used through history, okay, that's not what I'm saying. But if you can kill an animal that you're gonna kill anyway, uh, painlessly with uh, some sort of some sort of gas that maybe knocks them out before they know what's going on. I don't know. Or is it do they suck the oxygen out of the wo- the, the room and it sort of then they choke? That's not good. Uh, much better off using um, one of the, the guns to the head um, with the bolt. That's much better. There's better ways to do things. Like we just banned live export here in Australia, which is fantastic. Sheep aren't being sent over to the Middle East in the bottom of a fucking ship living in their own filth. They should be killed before they're exported. That's obvious, all right? But let's see what this dude has to say. It's shocking what goes on behind every closed door. I wouldn't want people to know what happens in my closed doors either. Who are you gassing, mate? That's what I want to know. But I'm saying there's got to be a hierarchy somewhere. Even if you go plant-based, of course, there's a, when, you're, when you're farming, you're going to kill a lot of insects, a lot of bugs, a lot of all that. Something's going to happen even if you're harvesting for plants. Which is absolutely true, and that's what vegans absolutely forget about every single time. And they will say, well, I didn't mean to kill that. But you still did it. You still fucking did it. Indeed, but I don't see why that justifies an increased amount of death. Okay, but if you want to get a whole field of wheat to make some little fucking burger patties for your Beyond Meat burgers, you're going to kill thousands and thousands and thousands of animals. If you take out one cow for a big old chunky steak, that's one soul. What about those insect souls? Will you think about them for a minute? I'm saying there's no alternative. What do we do? There is an alternative. There's plenty of alternatives to eating meat these days. But they're all shit, and they're not good for you. They're terrible for you. Highly processed, terrible food. You're still going to harm something, is what I'm trying to say. You're not intentionally harming them. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. You're not bringing something to... So manslaughter is not as bad as murder? No. I I would agree that manslaughter is certainly a step above ethically than, than murder. Yeah, sure. But it's still not great. But killing animals in order to... This bloke and his voice can fuck off, all right? He's got a very nice voice, but he's talking absolute shit. Is the equivalent of of accidentally hitting a dog and deliberately mowing a dog down when they're trying to get away. But if you knew that that dog was on the road and you still drove through it, is that not murder? Because you know that these insects are going to die. You know that these these, uh, mice are going to die or these little tiny animals that are running around in the fields. You know that but yet you still buy those foods and you still want those fields harvested. You know it's gonna happen. I don't know there's gonna be a dog down the road that I accidentally hit. It's different. No, but if you know there's a dog in front of you, because they, they know it, they know there's, there's insects, bugs, there's a lot of- You don't have time to stop, or if there's no alternative to, than hitting the dog, say for example- This if- man hits dogs is what I'm taking away from this conversation. <laughs> what a prick. I've been a vegan for over 50 years. Yep, you can tell. I'm relatively healthy. I bet you're not. But I'm being punished now as an old man because by the time I've paid my rent and my council tax, I have £17 in which to pay for everything. Food, bills, everything. So I advise everybody now to uh, cut out the meat and revolt. The fuck are you talking about? What is this? This is from Plant Based News. Cut out the meat and revolt. Hang on. Why are you... What, what is this? Okay, this, I think this comment explains it all. Poor guy, spent all his money on avocados and now he's broke. It's a sad, sad world. It's a harsh world. Vegan man has to stop yapping. What's going on here? So is this the the dude? He's walking along, he's been in the water. Okay, so he must be going after fishermen. That fish does not want to die. The fish doesn't want to die. He just wants to live just like you. Shut up, mate. You don't know that. I've heard all fish are suicidal. They shall be shown mercy. What nice. mercy are you showing for Imagine this. Imagine going for a swim or doing any you exercise and pulling over to fucking violent. yell at fishermen. I'm not being violent. You don't think it's violent to put a fish on a hook like that? What are that? you doing, you basis? fucking loser? This person right behind me, oh, he doesn't think mate. it's violent to put a, a fish on Fuck a hook. Fuck you, you bro. Fish feel pain even more than humans. Their skin is really sensitive. Oh. I cannot watch that. Fuck that guy. Fuck him. Okay, if that's you, fuck off. Okay, we've got vegan activists trying to shut down the UK dairy supply by buying all the milk. That wouldn't that right? Wouldn't what the fuck? Wouldn't that just make the milk producers create more milk with their profit? Fuck, there's some dumb getting around. 
Hi, my name is Isaiah Hernandez. I'm an environmental educator and the content creator of Queer Brown Vegan. Queer Brown Vegan. All right. Hey, bro. And I wanted to share with you all why I support the plant-based treaty. The tra <laughs> I can't even say it. The plant-based treaty. I think it goes the Treaty of Versailles and then the plant-based treaty up here. The plant-based treaty to me means revolutionizing a new food system that has been heavily mechanized and very oppressive towards both humans and non-human animals. Choosing a plant-based treaty is actually the way forward for our sustainable future while working with corporations, governments, and non-profits. If you genuinely believe that eating meat is ruining the environment, you've been fed a lie. That's, that's the honest truth. You've not only been fed a lie, you will believe anything and you are just desperate to belong to something. This is what happens when humankind removes religion. And I'm not a religious person at all. But we are so, it's so ingrained into our soul that we have to have something to believe into, almost a higher power. That's why people turn to veganism. It's the same with carnivores too. They love that shit. But with veganism, they're far more likely to be radicals. They're far more likely to be almost like a terrorist group. You know, the really full on ones, they all seem to be vegans. The ones that are trashing restaurants and carrying on like fucking idiots and getting in people's way and ruining people's days. They're all the vegans. Because they've been fed this lie and part of their religion is they have to disrupt. It's like the Seventh Day Adventists. I think I'm right in saying this about that church. Or the, no, the Mormons. The Mormons, how they go around to people's houses, right? That's part of their religion. You have to get other people in. It's a great way to run a business. It's a great way to run a cult. And that's what veganism is. If we learn anything from today, is that we live now such an easy life. We have nothing real to worry about that we can spend all of our time arguing about what food is more ethical. If this had happened 100 years ago, you wouldn't be arguing this at all. You'd be saying, I am so fucking hungry. I'm going to go out into the wilderness and shoot a rabbit. I'm going to shoot a deer. I'm going to shoot something because if I don't eat, then I'm going to die. And that's the reality of this situation. It's survival of the fittest. And we as human beings are the fittest. That's the end of the argument. If you don't like that, if you're a vegan and you don't like that, no one cares. <laughs> that's, this is the thing. Okay, you can't, you can't win against vegans with these arguments because they cherry pick data and they have all vegan scientists going, no, you've got to do this. Meat's going to kill you. I don't care. I don't give a fuck what you say. You are in a cult and you don't listen to cult members. They're crazy. That is my final statement on the vegans on TikTok. Ladies and gentlemen, be a good motherfucker. Peace in the Middle East. Me dig stinks. Toodaloo. Oh, I'm on tour. Oh my God. All over Australia. Ladies and gentlemen, capital cities. Come and see me live. See you soon. Toodaloo. Au revoir. Bye-bye.